Um, I miss you guys so much. I feel like it's been years since I've seen you. Like, years. I want to see your faces. I forgot how some of you guys look like and your names. But uh, we're, we're going to get to that later. We're going to learn your names again because I forgot. Do you guys remember my name? Oh, okay. But I love you guys. I miss you. I really want to see you again. But today we are, we have a lot of things for you guys to do. It's going to be fun. Like really, really fun. But before we do that, we have to pray. Okay, close your eyes. So dear Father God, we just want to thank you for always being here. For always having our back no matter what. For always never turning your back on us. And amen. So we're going to be playing a game, um, now we need to get either a ball or like coins, okay, and then you're going to throw it into the cup. So the first cup is 20 points, the second cup is 50 points, and the last cups are 100 points each. each. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you go here, and then you're going to go throw it each. Oh, okay. Then you need to go and fix it up. Ooh, ooh. And go back. And ooh. yay! I got 20 points now. Okay. No, don't run away from me, cup. And take it out. So 20 points. Remember to keep track of your cup, your points. Then you go. Damn. Some five second rule, guys. This is the most.
fun game in the world. And you know, Adrian says he's the best at this game, but it's not true because I'm actually the best at this game. And if you guys have not played this game, this is how it works. We are going to be putting categories up on the screen and you guys have five seconds to guess as many things as you can for that category. So, good luck. Ready, set, go! Guys, I hope you had fun playing this game. It's a really, really fun game. I enjoy playing it every single time. And guys, there's going to be more next week. So see you guys next week for 5 Second Rules. trouble I will wait my hope is in you God I can obey remember what you say I will pray my hope is in you a future I can't see I flash forward and believe I am sure you will come through you make things good you always do a future I can't see I flash forward and believe I am sure you will come through you make things good, you always do I'm happy I'm happy Because of the hope
trouble I will wait My hope is in you, God I can obey Remember what you say I will break My hope is in you A future I can see I flash forward and believe I am sure you will come through You make things good, you always do A future I can see I flash forward and believe I am sure you will come through You make things good, you always do people who are having a tough time and show them how they can have hope if they choose to go pro today. Uh, sorry guys, just hang on, hang on a second. Hey. Hey, yeah. Mm hmm Oh man. No, oh, no, I'm sorry. Sorry. That's awful. Huh? You know what? You know what? Yeah. Okay, let's 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 chat, let's chat about this, okay? Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call you back. Alright, yeah, thanks man. Hi. Wow, so today I've got another friend calling in and he's having a really tough time with hope right now. Why don't you check this out and see what he has to say. Hey guys, my name is Tag. I really need some help from you two. I have a friend here at school who is really having a hard time right now. He was in a hover car accident last week and broke his leg. Now he's hobbling around on crutches and some other kids are making fun of him. He just looks so sad all the time. I've been following Jesus for a few years now and I know that God can and will do good things for us, but how can I help my friends see that when everything in his life seems to be going wrong? I'm reaching out to see if you guys have any advice about what to do. I really hope you two can help. Wow, it sounds like Tech has got a really big problem. Tech's friend is having a really, really bad time. You know, he broke his leg and he was in an accident and now people are making fun of him. It kind of seems almost like everything is going wrong. And Tech, he feels so bad because he feels so helpless. He can't help his friend. He wants to help him, but he doesn't know how. That's a really, really tough spot to be in. Do you know what it's like to feel like Tech? To have a friend or, or someone you know who's having a really tough time and that you wanted to help them? but you really weren't sure what you could do or say to make things better? I have, and it doesn't feel very good. As a matter of fact, it makes me feel like I don't have a lot of hope at, at that time. And it really, cause it really sucks when it seems like there's nothing we can do to make that person feel better. It makes us feel really helpless. Tech, uh, tech needs to find a way to help his friend have hope again. And maybe you have a friend or someone you know who's going through a tough time, who's having lots of things go wrong, and maybe you want to help them have hope again. You know what? There is a way. And there's an awesome story in the Bible that I think is really getting to help. Are you guys ready? Let's check it out. Accessing the story of Jesus. Story successfully loaded. Everywhere Jesus went, huge crowds would follow him. They wanted to hear everything he had to say. So one day, Jesus climbed up on a hillside so everyone could hear him. As the crowd sat down, he began to teach them by saying that anyone who is sad or in need of something will be blessed along with everyone who is humble, shows mercy, and tries to do what is right. He even said that anyone who gets hurt or made fun of because they follow him will be blessed. When we follow Jesus, we get to look forward to all the awesome things coming in heaven. And that means that something better is always coming. When we follow Jesus, we can be happy because of the hope that we have of going to heaven one day, and we can give hope to other people who need it. Jesus said that we are like salt. What does salt do? It makes food taste better. In the same way, we can help make people's lives better by showing them that no matter what is happening, God is still going to do good things for them. 
Jesus also said that when we believe in him and follow him, we are a light that shines for the world to see. The hope that we have when we are sure that God will do good things is like a light we carry around. People can see that hope we have just like you can see a bright shining city on a dark hillside. When Jesus said this, he pointed to a city nearby called Tiberias that was lit up at night and could be seen from miles away. He wanted us to see that we are like that city on a hill, shining hope for all the world to see. Flash forward. If the power was out in your house and all your flashlights were out of batteries, you wouldn't light a candle and put it under a bowl because then it wouldn't be helpful to you or anyone else. Instead, you would put it in a place where it would shine as much light as possible. In the same way, the hope we have from following Jesus is a light. In the middle of a dark and tough situation, when someone doesn't have hope, did you know they can see your hope and borrow some of it? Sometimes we can look at someone else's situation and be sure that God is going to do good things, but the person may not be able to see that yet. You can give your hope to that person by praying with them and for them. You can help them remember how God has taken care of them in the past, or show them a promise that He has made to us in the Bible. You can even help them obey and do the right thing while they're waiting on the good that God has coming. As they learn how to pray, remember, and obey, they will have hope of their own and become sure that God is going to do good things for them. Jesus wanted us to know that when people see our hope, it gives them hope too. That's why he told the people listening that day to live so that others will see the good things you do and praise your Father in heaven. One of Jesus' disciples even said, Always be ready to give an answer to anyone who asks you about the hope you have. That is such a great story. And there is no better example we can follow than the example of Jesus. Jesus was an absolute pro at giving others hope. See, Jesus knew that there would be people, just like tax friends, who would be struggling to have hope. And Jesus always wanted to give them hope. And he told us that we can do that by going pro. So, do you guys remember what pro stands for? The P is? That's right, it's pro. And the R? Yeah, remember. And how about the O? That's right, obey. Jesus prayed to God and he, and, he, and he taught his followers to talk to God as well. And when someone's feeling hopeless, one of the best ways we can give them hope is by praying with them and praying for them. Jesus also taught the people on the hillside that day to remember all the many blessings that God had promised them and all the many blessings that were coming their way, especially when they were in the toughest situations. When we see someone who needs hope, we can remind them of all the many blessings and the amazing promises that God has for their life. And that will help them have hope. And you know what? Even if nothing changes here on earth, they still have so much to look forward to because one day they're going to be in heaven with God and that is going to be absolutely perfect. Jesus told the people who followed him that they would be blessed if they did what was right. And we can give others hope by encouraging them to obey God while they're waiting on God to do the good things that He's promised. So when we do these three things, we see that anyone can be a pro at having hope. Jesus' story shows us that we can have hope, and we can give hope to everyone around us as well. And now, that's what I want us to remember today. So why don't you say this after me? I can give hope to others. All right, one more time, nice and loud. I can Give hope to others. Nice, that was awesome. When we follow Jesus, um, we have hope um, that God will do good things and help our friends have hope again. When we pray and we talk to God about our friends and who aren't feeling so good, when we remember all the good things God has promised to do and encourage them to remember God's promises as well, and when we obey all the things that God has said for us to do and encourage them to obey all the things that God said to do as well. When we do these three things, when we go pro, we can have hope and we can help others have hope by going pro too. And that's what Tech can do for his friend. Now, as you know, we have the opportunity to flash forward 10 years in the future and see what's going to happen with Tech and with his friend if Tech chooses to go pro today. Check it out. Hey there, Future Tech here, coming to you from the Future Memory Bank. 
Thanks so much for sharing your proven PRO formula with me all those years back. I realized that I could be a light to my friend by giving him some of the hope that I have from following Jesus. It was as simple as praying for him, helping him remember that God loves him and has good plans for him, and encouraging him to obey God even during this tough time. And guess what? My friend decided that he wanted to follow Jesus just like me. Now he has hope and is sharing it with others too. Each week, we volunteer at church together and help kids know that no matter what is going on in their life, they can be sure that God will do good things. Because you guys taught me that I can pray, remember, and obey, things are looking really good here in 3130. Thanks again, and keep helping others go pro. Flashing back to you guys, Future Tech, out. Wow, it is so cool to see what will happen if Tech goes pro today and how he will be able to help his friend. God gives us hope no matter what. And we can give that hope to others by praying with them about anything that they, that's making them feel hopeless, by reminding them of all the good promises that God has for them, and encouraging them to obey God, even when it's hard. If we do that, we can help others have hope and grow pro, just like we did. Let's pray and ask God to be with us. Thank you, Jesus, that you are the best example that we can ever have. Thank you that you show us how to go pro, and not just for ourselves, but you show us how to share hope with others. Lord, I pray that we would share hope with all our friends and everyone we know who's facing tough times. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, we hope you had fun hanging out with us today at Flash Forward. Uh, But you know what? The fun is not over because we still have this incredible craft and that is available for you uh, via the link um, in the description to this video or via our notes tab on Salem Online and you can complete it. And we're going to see you guys next week for the very last part of Flash Forward. See you then.